Texans are joining President Trump's team. It's November 25th, 2024, and these are your headlines. With President Donald Trump finalizing his cabinet selections ahead of the inauguration in January, several Texans are being tapped for prominent roles, reinforcing, of course, the Lone Star State's influence in his administration. On Friday, Trump announced former Texas lawmaker Scott Turner as his nominee for Secretary of Housing and Urban Development. Turner, a former professional football player, served two terms in the Texas House starting in 2013. In 2015, those of you who have been following this long enough might remember he challenged then-Speaker Joe Strauss. He got the vote of 19 of his colleagues. Turner previously served in the Trump administration's first term as executive director of the White House Opportunity and Revitalization Council. That initiative, aimed at improving economically distressed communities, drew praise from Trump, who described it as an unprecedented effort. Another Texan receiving a key nomination is Brooke Rollins, who's been chosen to serve as Secretary of Agriculture. A graduate of Texas A&M University with a degree in agricultural development, Rollins is the former president of the Texas Public Policy Foundation and previously led the Domestic Policy Council during Trump's first term. Trump praised Rollins' commitment to America's farmers and rural communities. Rollins, by the way, is also the daughter of incoming Texas State Representative Helen Kerwin, adding just another layer to her Texas roots. These nominations join a growing list of Texas residents selected for influential roles. Earlier this month, former Dallas area Congressman John Ratcliffe was named the next director of the CIA. Tulsi Gabbard, a former Hawaii congresswoman who recently moved to Texas, will serve as director of national intelligence. And billionaire entrepreneur Elon Musk, who shifted much of his operations to Texas, is set to lead the newly created Department of Government Efficiency. That department aims to streamline federal spending and eliminate waste, a task that Musk has enthusiastically embraced. A global consulting firm, McKinsey & Company, is fighting the release of information contained in their contracts and agreements with the University of Texas system. McKinsey advises businesses and higher education institutions, but some of that advice may conflict with a recently enacted law concerning the spread of DEI and woke policies in higher education in Texas. Last year, state lawmakers banned universities from establishing DEI offices using DEI criteria and hiring, requiring employees or prospective employees to attend DEI training. The restrictions don't apply to academic instruction, organizations, student admissions, guest speakers, or scholarly research. Well, McKinsey has a history of advocating for diversity, equity, and inclusion, LGBTQ+, and active allyship. In June, the Wall Street Journal reported that McKinsey's claim that they had found a link between racial and gender diversity and business profits in a 2015 study that it became hugely influential in the business world had been essentially debunked. The journal reported McKinsey's promise of increased profits never came true. However, the consulting firm continues to advocate for DEI policies in higher ed. As Texas Scorecard has investigated the University of Texas system for records on their contracts with McKinsey, they have appealed to the Attorney General's office to withhold that information. What are the important things out there in Texas politics and Texas news that matter to you and what can you do about it? That's what we want to bring you with the Luke Messiah Show on a weekly basis for 20 to 30 minutes. That way you can get the information and go do something for the rest of your week. I look forward to coming to you every Wednesday. A now former employee of a tiny West Texas school district pled guilty to embezzling more than a quarter million dollars meant for educating students, instead using the money for personal expenses. Ernesto Villarreal Jr. stole taxpayer funds while employed as the business manager and tax assessor collector for Valentine Independent School District. Lack of oversight allowed Villarreal to carry out his embezzlement schemes undetected for six years from around 2016 to 2022. Valentine ISD has just one school and fewer than 50 students. It's a very small school district. According to budget data for the past four school years, the district enrolled 24 to 44 students per year and collected and spent $41,000 to $75,000 per student. Villarreal stole taxpayer money from Valentine ISD using a variety of schemes. Investigators found that he used two ISD credit cards to make hundreds of personal purchases totaling thousands of dollars. 
He also wrote tens of thousands of dollars worth of unauthorized checks from the district accounts to himself and to a credit card company for his personal expenses. In addition, he generated more than $100,000 in fraudulent payments to current and former district employees, then routed the money to his personal bank accounts. According to a statement from the Department of Justice, Villarreal used those funds for hundreds of unauthorized personal purchases, including travel expenses, home improvements, and yes, his own personal cell phone bills. Prosecutors believe that Villarreal caused more than $300,000 in losses to Valentine ISD. For more of today's stories, go to texasscorecard.com. <laughs>